look outside here. This is our Mary Hill tasting room and bistro camera along the Vancouver waterfront. Seeing quite a few clouds out there right now, uh, but things definitely look dry and it's a little breezy out there. Maybe not too shabby here. Gusts around 20 miles per hour. Meanwhile, this is what it looks like out along the coast. Our Shiloh Inns camera in Seaside. A little bit more calm out there, which makes sense because the wind we're seeing is coming out of the east. Temperatures in the upper 40s there. And one more camera for you. This is in La Grande. Temperatures just a hair warmer than freezing and uh, pretty gusty out there around 30 miles per hour. This was beautiful this morning. Had a lovely sunrise from our Skyline camera. Beautiful colors. Uh, reflected in the sky there in the clouds. Just lovely to see those pinks and oranges. Let's talk about what we have in store for us the rest of the day today. We do have a slight chance of uh, seeing a shower maybe in the valleys uh, later this afternoon, maybe early evening. This is around four o'clock. So you can see that here. This is a very weak system. If we saw anything at all, it'd be very, very light. A uh, chance for maybe some heavier showers out along the coast, kind of central coast today. But by the time we get to tonight, everybody should be mainly dry. We're just seeing those clouds lingering, maybe another shower uh, lingering along the coast as well, and some light snow flurries in that eastern Oregon, in central and eastern Oregon possible, kind of eastern slopes of the Cascades could see something as well. Uh, so this is Saturday morning. We'll be waking up dry and should see a lot of sunshine over the day uh, Saturday, but that east wind could be lingering a little bit into the morning hours. So especially today, this afternoon, if you're on the east side of the metro, we're going to put our trash can wind gauge at a two, which is tipped over with those gusts potentially reaching 40 miles per hour. So here's a look at the rest of the day today, kind of what you can expect to see temperature wise in the metro area. We're thinking mid to upper 40s, but probably going to feel a little bit chillier out there than that because of the uh, gusty east winds. Again, we talked about that afternoon, early evening shower chance and clouds for sure will be lingering. Here's what it looks like up on the mountain right now or Mount Hood Ski Bowl camera. Of course, uh, not seeing anyone on the slopes here. Not open yet at Ski Bowl, but uh, Timberline certainly is. We've talked about that quite a bit. Chilly up there. Temperatures around uh, the 20s if you're, uh, you know, up there in the ski runs. So as far as snow goes, we're not really expecting any accumulation around Mount Hood through this weekend, but you could see maybe trace amounts to up to four inches uh, along the eastern slopes or through central Oregon. So be aware if you're driving, you know, through Bend or, or anywhere in that area, you could see some snow falling uh, through tomorrow. All right, your seven day forecast then looks like this. Uh, pretty nice weekend, close to 50 degrees tomorrow. More sunshine after we get through the morning clouds. Sunday, we could see some fog in the morning and it will be just a little bit cooler. We'll be in the mid to upper 40s around Portland. And uh, start to next week looks pretty nice. Low 50s for your high temperatures. Breezy east wind does return though. And keep in mind those low temperatures are still very chilly in the 30s. So definitely brisk starts to the day.